Hey, what's going on? This is Jim. Thanks so much for joining me. We're going to talk about how to finally get your Facebook leads from lead form ads into go high level. Okay. So if you've been stuck and your leads just aren't making it in there for some reason, you've tried everything they show you in the instructions, then I think I've got the final step that'll solve this problem for you. I just ran into this as well. And for some reason, some Facebook pages aren't set up for this and by default. And so I'll show you how that looks. But first, let's just go through really quick the fundamentals. Obviously, if you're running Facebook lead ads, then you know that you already have set up a Facebook lead ad, right? Like you go through and create your form and everything. You're connecting that with a certain page from Facebook, right? And and then of course, inside of Go High Level, you've got to be set up in your back end. So if you go to settings over here in your sub account, if you have an agency plan or just in your regular account, you've got to be in settings, integrations, and then connect with Facebook. And so that's all set up. You've got to make sure you've got the right page here. And I'm sure you've probably already done that, but if you have multiple pages, then you've got to kind of figure that out. Either in the agency go high level plan, you've got to create a different sub account for each of the pages. Um, that's one approach. If you don't have the agency plan, then you've got to figure something else out. You know, you've got to probably just sort of work with the one page. I've got an agency account, so I don't know as much about the other, the other account types. So, but you know, generally I think that just works with one Facebook page. Anyway, we won't go down that road too far, but just make sure you've got the right page here that you're trying to connect with. Then of course, you've probably already done this, but you've got to make sure your Facebook form fields are mapped and that the status is good and active, right? And everything's mapped. So that's easy enough. Okay. And then probably what you've done is you've come over here. I'll put this ad uh, or this link in the description, but basically Facebook's lead ad tester lets you like send dummy data in through your form and just test to make sure everything's working okay. And hopefully you've tried that. Hopefully you haven't gone live and figured out after spending X amount of dollars that things aren't working. But if you have, then now you know about this. And anyway, if you just, if you set up a sophisticated form with questions and stuff, you can create this or just click create lead and some dummy data will kind of go in there. It's not ideal. The trick uh, to using this, the best way is just to hit preview form and then just fill it out with your own data so that you can actually answer questions and make selections and stuff like that. So once you've done that, the little window will pop up. You can just hit submit. The data, if it's still not coming through, then I'm gonna show you now where to go into Facebook and uh, make the settings change so that everything will work for you. All right, so here's what we do. You jump into your business settings, your business manager for Meta, right? And business.facebook.com. And basically you go down here to the little gear thing so that you go into settings, okay? Click that and then you wanna choose the one that says integrations, okay? Open that up and there's two options there and you wanna click on this one that says leads access, okay? So click on that and then you'll be sitting here and like, okay, this still doesn't help me, but you wanna go over here to CRMs and then you wanna make sure that lead connector is an app here, okay? So you may have to search for it or if you've already connected your page like I showed you over here in the integrations, it should just be sitting there as an option. You just have to sort of like tick the box and say, yeah, I want everything connected, the leads to go to lead connector. Okay, and then once you do that, you basically are all set. Now you can go back, create your lead and everything should work. So I hope that helps you. I know it costed me half an hour of time this afternoon, so I thought I'd make a quick video about it because I'm loving go high level, but you know, little stuff like that is inevitable and it's gonna happen. But I love this integration with lead ads, it's awesome. Um, anyway, hope you got something valuable out of this. Hit the like button if you did, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video.